never slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love For the fakeness If you wanna play tough And wanna hate all right, so welcome back to part uh, 12, I believe, of the Let's Finish This Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, where we last left off. We we got the uh, the sheep all herded in. I know what's coming up next, which is a part we have to follow John over to a tavern, and that would have taken way too long to put him to another video. So uh, that's where we're going to pick up from here. We're going to go meet Dutch in the tavern and uh, wreck this freaking town. Yay! Okay. Easy. Yeah, sorry I had to be abrupt with that, but I knew I knew where this was going. I knew I wouldn't have nearly enough time to do it in the last video, so come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I... Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Mabo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay. Um, a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! What the hell? You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott watch you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen. Here we go. This is a terrible mistake. This is a case. Of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Nor do I want to be this. There we go. Alright, I got it. Oh, this is messed up. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Oh, he's gonna get me. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, remedy. It says remedy. Okay, so remedy. Yeah, we'll take that. I have left. Where's he at? There you are. That was probably a little jerk that was messing with me. Alright, here we go. Arthur, cover us! John will push the wagon. Arthur, shoot someone! I'm shooting, man. I'm trying. Oh man, I don't I don't reload fast enough. So this. Doing? 
Man, <laughs> 45 bullets to get one guy. Shut up! You can talk. We all heard you whine about a little neck from a wolf. Okay, so it looks like I'm starting to think that volcanic pistols are probably better. They, they don't they don't reload or... They may... Oh, gosh darn it. I'm trying, bro. I'm right here, you sons of bitches! This is bad! All right, I'm getting, I'm getting peppered here, man. I'm thinking the, I think that sway, that weird sway that we're getting from these pistols. I think that's what's causing the biggest issue. I think I need to get the volcanic pistols for that, for, for that. There's not going to be as much sway on it, I believe. Oh man, I'm getting... Come on, go, go, go with this guy. I need some covering fire. Now's our chance. Come on. Put Strauss on the back of John's horse and let's get out of here. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're going to gather the troops and get them to start packing up. All right, so the, so the Schofields, they have to shoot faster and they probably let's reload go. a little bit faster, but... The, I would say the accuracy as far as the the, the, the sway or the swing on these things is just crazy. Right. I better get out of here. You know, oh yeah, you think? Take him down. Okay, there's. All right, and the thing is, I can't really get any. Uh, See, it's just there's it doesn't seem like there's a lot I can do with this. I've already shot the guy like four times and he still hasn't gone down yet, so see I just I think the volcanic pistols might be a better choice. But man, what the heck is going on with these guys? Oh, shot him right in the eye. <laughs> I mean I I like the speed on them, but I just don't Okay, we need to get out of here. I like the speed on them, I just don't like the, uh... Okay, we're just gonna go, because... Oh! Jeez, Louise. Plus, I can hold, I think, eight in the Volcanic Pistol. I can only hold six in these. I mean, you have quicker reload speed, you have, uh... You know, faster fire rate, it looks like, but... Oh man, I am hurting. I, my health is way low. All right, but I, what I don't like is I don't like the. Uh, I don't like that, that little that little shake or that little sway that you get on there because you can't. If you're trying to just like bump up to hit somebody with a headshot, you really can't do it. It's not really that easy. So, um, let's see what we have here. Okay, I think this is our camp. No, it's not our camp. This is our camp up here. And they're still chasing us. Okay, are we out? Are we out of the mess? Yeah, we're out of the mess. Man, I have taken a beating from heck, man. Look at me. Too fast? Sure seemed that way to me. But anyway, we made it out. Okay, so my horse's health and my health are pretty pretty bad. Alright, uh, let me get over here and take care of my horse if I can. Looks like everybody's packing up, ready to go. This is ready to go to chapter 3 pretty soon, I'm sure. And uh, I don't recall how far. I, I want to say I did some stuff in Rhodes. 
I want to say I got through most of Rhodes and almost to the uh, to chapter four, or maybe into chapter four. I don't recall, but um, you know, we'll take it as we go. Once I hit something I don't remember, I will let you know. All right, so there's a little of that. Let's go ahead and feed him. That horse looks like they're doing all right. Okay, so his health is okay. I'm gonna have to I have to get my health okay. Sure, we'll have some of that. Nowhere near enough. That is for the horse. All right, we're going to call that good. Uh, let's see what we have to do here. Uh, I don't have my hat, so let's see. Can I get my hat for my horse? The horse cargo. Yeah, that was probably silly. All right, let's see what you got here. Horse, there's my hat. Get the stalker hat. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm looking cowboy again. All right, so let's see. Um, we have to go here. Oh, we got another bounty. That's what I was waiting for was to try not to get the bounty. Yeah, that's not too much. That's that's actually not bad. Sixty bucks. I we can we can take care of that. All right. I don't see where I'm supposed to go next. So oh boy, this is a something different, isn't it? Okay. Um. Oh, there's that one dude. This is the guy. Oh, I'll have to talk to him over there for the next part of that quest. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I uh, thought all we had to do was just uh, well, we'll just keep going in here and see what happens. Dutch has got nothing to say, no. Okay. Walk around here for a second or two. Alright. There's Jack. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I wish those mean men hadn't ruined it. Ah, uh, don't worry about them, okay? Hello, Arthur. We saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. Okay, um, not sure what else I have to do here. I Hello, Arthur. would assume hey, that we Bill. just have to be. So what now? We wrap up our business and get out of here. I don't think we have any other option at this point. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, catch okay, you later. Arthur. All right, so what do we have to do now? Uh, let's see here. We're wrapping up camp. And there is not another yellow marker in sight. I hope this thing didn't glitch. Um, I'm not entirely certain what I got to do. So in absence of something to do, I think I'm going to go down here and do this. That's not, that's not too high of a thing. So let's go down here and do uh, let's get, do that uh, side quest there. Oh, nope. Okay, I thought for sure that would have been it. Um, apparently, it is not. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a, a one of the side quests with the uh, uh, the, the the gun the gunfighter side quest, whatever it's called. We'll do that real quick. Oh, now Dutch is now Dutch is interested. All right, well Dutch, you're gonna have to wait now, bro. So I'm gonna go do this one real quick. All right, as soon as I get my Lancaster. I've come all the way north from Mexico no, not Lancaster. I'll get that later. <laughs> you him? Anyway, carbine. I want that Lancaster is what I want. That one, and there's a... Uh, I think... I don't know if you can get that one online or... Hey, right. a real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Okay, Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready. All right? <laughs> All right. Shoot! Okay, where are the rest of the bottles? Oh. Perfecto. 
Where are the bottles? I don't even see them. Oh, dude. Yes. Okay, dude. You're okay. You're gonna get me pissed. All right, fella. You shot a bottle. Don't go filling yourself up on it. Ah, uh, don't take it too hard. How about we raise the stakes and you try again, huh? How about we say yeah? Come on. Right, Could win real big. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Oh, you are not going to win. Oh, man, stupid, stupid. Ah, uh, uh, so you can shoot, huh? Ah, uh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Sure. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. I don't even know if I've done that before. It doesn't seem familiar. Maybe I did. Oh, mm. did I? I don't recall. All right. I do recall doing this because I know I've done this before. This is actually pretty funny. And I won't let it spoil. I'll just go ahead and do it because it's funny. That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. All right, oh, so the one picture, picture it is. Work. I'll get out of here and stop wasting my time. All right, shovel your damn shit. Jim Boy, <laughs> nothing you know. Me, I killed men, women, and children too. Animals, I even killed rocks, and I killed yep. them good. K killed rocks. I That's shot nice. folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Buried folks alive. One time, I... Hey, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? Now it's clean enough to eat off of. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? 
Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man to be a <laughs> government witness. <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. <laughs> All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away right now. Don't do it! There you go. No. No. No! You didn't know! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. <laughs> Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do. And there is the benefit behind uh, having a pistol that shoots fast. I got a feeling if that wouldn't have been the case, I would, if I had the volcanic, it probably would have got me. But it's all right. Let's see here. Oh, uh, I know he drops a pistol. There we are. Oh, come on. He's got a, a pistol, doesn't he? Yeah, that's the one. No, doggone it. Here we go. Yeah, I know over here there is something we have to get for Sadie later on. Yeah, that's a harmonica. I do remember that. If you don't get it now, I don't believe you can get it later. It's like some weird stuff that happens. It locks the door. You can't get in there. Because I did have her quest. I tried to get it, and I couldn't. I worry about the carbine. I already got one. And I got, I think I got nearly everybody's side quest other than, like I said before, I think there was like a couple I had never got. Uh, so I must have been in, gosh, I think, I think every, almost everything that I got was in chapter three. Okay, I have to, re oh, that's right, I have to do, I have to take a picture of the guy. I forgot about that. Okay, there we go. I'm going to self portrait. That's nice. Okay, complete. There we go. All right. Um, now Duchess has his thing going. So I think I'm going to go back over to uh, the camp and do Duchess' thing. That'll take us to chapter three. I'm really actually enjoying this game quite a bit. It just makes me... I, I get what the series is about. It's just to finish the game, and I will do that. But I think I will actually... I, I don't know that I'll, you know, obviously record it and put up more videos. But I think I will actually, on my own spare time, I think I'll go back in here and try to see if I can complete all the side quests and, you know, stranger missions. Although I'll try to do as many as I can get. And then uh, maybe, uh, you know, like Platinum. Nah, I'm not going to do Platinum. I've seen what Platinum is in this game, and Platinum in this game is ridiculous. Some of things. Oh, can I make it? Ooh, made it. Look at that, like a boss. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, Platinum is kind of is kind of silly. There's uh, you have to. There's a lot of stuff you have to do to get Platinum in this game. And, I mean, and 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 hard. It's not. It isn't easy from what I've seen. It's actually fairly difficult. But I will come over here and Good talk evening. to Dutch. Oh, come on now. Slow down, horse. And I will check something here just real quick.
Yeah, I believe it's just Dutch at this point. There's a bounty, but the bounty's not too high, like I said before. So we're just going to talk to Dutch and move this on. Hey, Arthur. We keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Oh, that'd be nice. Join the commune. So we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find some place sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. <laughs> Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? <laughs> yeah, right. All right, so we're going to go and move to okay, girl. the next location. No, oh, come on now, move. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Hey, wait for me. Oh, come on now, Charles. Jeez, Louise. Ah, uh, okay, so we're trying we're gonna try to do straight line again, if we can. So you was just talking about something? Uh that didn't sound good. Uh killed a lot of law. Hit a lot of Cornwalls, man. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now. Hey, hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old... Oh, son of a gun. Well. That was embarrassing. Wait, my horse has died. Uh, well, we're going to restart mission, because I think if my horse dies, that'll be it, right? That was embarrassing as all hell. So, all right. I didn't think my horse would die on one freaking trip. But... When do we stop? When we reach Paris? All right, I'm going to skip this. Oh man, that was uh that was messed up. All right, so I thought my horse was fine. Come on, get on the freaking horse! Right, no, the horse is fine. One one fall? That's crazy. All right, so we're gonna try to go ahead and do the same thing again. I'm sorry that this is um yeah I didn't mean to do that, but um straight line is usually good. I don't know where that was a thing, but. And the whole hey, wait up thing again. Oh, we gotta return to Charles now. We have to wait for him to show up. Oh, man. Just so silly. So silly. You were saying? Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess. I don't recall, like, eating it on the last time I did this, but... All right, well, you know. Get a lot of Cornwalls, man. Guess when we get to that point, we'll have to ease up a little bit. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks... I never thought I'd... Uh, hang on a second. All right, here's where we got to be careful. This is where we ate it last time. The old dried up creek. 
Come on. Oh, jeez, that was the same spot. Oh, man, I almost ate it again. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Okay. Oh, they were okay. It's a rented area here. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Oh, there's some uh, light over here. Okay, we'll grab that and grab that. Hold on a second now. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna probably switch over to the volcanic pistols, I think. Come on now. There we go. Alright. Um what's going on here? Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Alright, Charles. For let's business. Alright, so there's uh I do remember this, I look, think. Here it is. A few tabs. Yes, Place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Oh, what's that? Something here. There we go. Oh, sure. Take take vegetables. All right. Let's see here. See nothing in there. I know we have to. There's. I'm. I'm, I'm not going to ruin everything that's going to happen here. I. I, I know it's going to happen, but I won't talk about it. Be careful. I'm being careful. Is he sniffing? <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. <sighs> All right, search crates. It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. Are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Okay, let's go help him out. There, tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. Okay, I'm gonna try to go to. What's going on with you? Cinematic mode and see if this follows. You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch in. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you asked me. Think this is the right way? Give me a second.
yeah, trust me, doing doing the cinematic mode in these uh these I mean it, it's crazy. They have these long drawn out conversations. You just cinematic mode is the way to go. Especially if you wanna get into the lore of the uh of what's going on here. Yeah. But he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real young. A long while. Ah, uh, hear him. Hey. Hold up. Let me check this. They carry on along this trail. Anyway, you were saying. He did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. And all I'm doing is holding on the uh, the X button for at least for PlayStation. So it'd be the A button for Xbox. Careful. Right. So this is where I come out of cinematic mode because now there's some stuff going on. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Make sure I have the weapons I want, and I do. So. Oh man, I took one. <laughs> Looks like I took one right in the nuts on that one. I don't know. Do you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much okay. easier to defend. Maybe. Oh yeah. There he is. Okay, cut free. Okay, let's see here. You get the hell away from him. All right. Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? That all of them doesn't look like it. Didn't take him down, but he took two bullets in his ass. <laughs> well, that's them dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. I will see what's left behind as well, because I need to sell some stuff in order to get myself more money or demony. History of the world. Look it up. One of the best comedies of all time. Bitte, lass es mich gehen. Schneiden Sie das ein und durch, bitte. Okay, so. Come on, he looks in some pain there. Hey, I'm sure he's fine. Sie sind alle weg. It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Alrighty. Uh, return settler to family. We can do that. Anyway, Jump home. What are you talking about? All right. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Okay, this is... Actually, darker on my screen than I would care for. I hope it's not too terribly dark on the uh, on the video. But okay. All 
I'm gonna so run into a tree and screw this up, I'm sure. Wo bringen Sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? I, I really, this is going to be tough because I don't, I, I barely see it on my screen. I imagine recording is going to be really rough. I may have to adjust the game on this uh, for recording. I'm not sure if I can do it right now. Can I do it now? Let me just take a quick peek. All right, we're safe, I think, right here. Take a quick peek and see if we can do that real quick. Uh, let's see, controls, display. Nope, not camera. Display, uh, where's the gamma at? Let me see, brightness, okay. We can always do that. Let's do a little bit more on that. Oh, I think I may have absolutely capped out what we need. Oh, yeah, we have. Okay, that's about as far as that can go. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, let's see here. All right, well, I think we're as, uh, we're as bright as we're going to get. So, All right, let's just go with it. And hopefully the... Uh... There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Hopefully the uh, the brightness is good enough on the uh, recorded video. Beinahe wär's so gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar! Oh, sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja, ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here. Ja, ja, alles klar. Vamos. Ich hab was für Sie. Ein Moment. Uh, um, danke schön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. <laughs> like it was bombing yeah. <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think we may be in our third chapter. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Okay, so Clemens Point, Chapter 3. A few days later. All right. So what do we have here? Let's take a quick look. Oh, sure. So I've gotten a gold ingot. And that is good. Alright, so there is uh, one quest here and uh, some grub. So let's go get some grub. I think we may need some. And then we will go talk to Dutch. Alright, there's a grub, but I don't see I don't think it's on yet, is it? Take a look. Yep. Morning. Do you worry? Gonna be a good day. Alright. Now I don't I'm I'm like I said, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in camp wandering around trying to find people's side quests and their all their goodies. I'm just gonna try to finish the game, which is Kind of what I'm into here right now for the series. How you doing, old friend? Fine. 
It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Great. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. All right, so uh, fishing with Dutch and Hosea. So again, like I said uh, before, I will say what I've done, what I haven't done. I do remember this, and we, I will tell you when we, I don't remember something. You've been pissing in. You don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this. Warmer weather would my days are looking good a long over. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fish. Come on then. <laughs> Alright, so I think we're gonna go cinematic on here as soon as we get out of the camp. Okay, go! Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Time feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Coming past. Yeah, okay. All right, now we're going to see. I do know this. So we're still in areas and stories that, that I remember. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Well, well, look who it is. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The 
the best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help my more friend Luther. Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. Yeah. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Shit. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Uh, looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You no. Son of a gun. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, son of a gun. Uh, are you going to get back on? Get back on? Oh shit. Alright. That was me that fell off. Shoot them. <laughs> that was a bit embarrassing. Leave them. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You cop bastards! I didn't do nothing! Ah. Ah. Got you now! Okay, break free. Get the head off! Come on! You stop them, I'll stop the train. Stop! <laughs> That's kind of funny. Only making it worse. Come on, get on, get on! Really? <laughs> Doing the best I can. Damn bastard. Get the hell away from me. Gonna be dead. This is it. <gasps> Are you serious? Okay, well, that's the way it goes. I thought I was doing actually pretty good. That guy's got a freaking steel jaw, that's all I can say, because I hit him a ton of times. Right there. there you go. go get after them. Come on, sit back. Well, get the hell up over there. Jeez Louise. It's not bad enough that I got it. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh. There we go. Oh, there's I could lose stuff along the way. That's nice. Oh, now he's got a knife. All right, so I don't have a knife. All right, so now we have to avoid the knife. All right, so knife, 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 knife. knife. Oh, cheese, cheese. Why do I have to? Well, okay, this is messed up. Man. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Get out of the knife. Get out of the knife range. Oh, he's dropped his knife. Okay, now you're done. Because oh come on. Oh, 
There we go. All right, I only have a Hello? few minutes left, so let's see. Here. Well, I don't think he's dead. <laughs> I don't think I won the fight. Oh, just about. All right, so I only have about a few minutes left to get this guy to Rhodes, which is where I think we're headed next. So I'm gonna probably. Oh, I can't skip through anything. Bring him out here. Right, so let's see here. We have. Yeah. Um, Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that I think him? We, I think we can get him to where we need to get him. I hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? We take him in. Come on. All right. So we're gonna, job. Well done. We're gonna take this guy in. Hopefully we can get there before the, the uh, three minutes elapses. There you go. You if not, there'll be a true. there'll be a slight pause. All right. Let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. Okay, You're the so, boss. So we have about two, two and a half guess, minutes sir, for his uh, ride back to Rhodes. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Okay, so I have about a minute and a half left. I'm going to try to see if I can get this to, to the Rhodes. next phase of whatever we have to do. Up there and on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. If it doesn't, Very we'll pick it up in the next episode. By the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're going to stop just ahead on the right outside right, so the about a, about a minute office. left. We're going to see if we can't just get through the next... Horse and carry him in for me. Get to the next little part here, and I know we, there's another extended part here after this. We'll see if we can drop him off. Yeah. There we go. We got him. And I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. Yeah, this might be close. About my friend here. About 30 seconds left. I'm going to have to skip it because we're not going to have enough time. So we're going to stop here, I think, because we only have 20 seconds left. Uh, all that happened was I dropped him off. They, they, they had a little conversation, but we don't have enough time, so I apologize for that. I'm going to go ahead and call this quits here. I want to thank everybody so very much for watching, and we'll catch you all in the next video. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'm always showing.